I recently spent a few days in beautiful Provincetown, Massachusetts, where I stayed at a lovely spa and guest house. While there, I delved into a taboo subject with the spa manager. Thank you, Dana. Sure. So nice to be here at Carpe You're Diem. Welcome. So we are here at uh, the Carpe Diem Spa and Guest House, and I'm talking to Dana Demur, and he is the spa manager here, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about, well, something that's not always easy to talk about, <laughs> hot tub etiquette. So uh, shall we go in? Yes, please, right this way. Everything is so relaxing. Thank you. Really lovely. So, this is the hot tub. This is it. Yes, well, it looks very relaxing. Tell me about what do you do if you're in the hot tub and other people are in the hot tub with you and they are behaving inappropriately, let's put it that way. Well, it really depends on how inappropriate they are, I guess, and what type of inappropriations. We try to let all guests know ahead of time the ins and outs of, of hot tub um, protocol. Um, but if you're stuck in a situation like this, I always think it's best just to flat out say something. Mm -hmm. I agree. But I think that uh, that's a really good point that he made initially, and that is the host should define some rules for hot tub use if you have a private hot tub or if you have a hot tub at a business like this. Um, so that's a good start. Now, they talk a little bit about uh, some people are afraid to use hot tubs because the communal water can give you... An RWI. An RWI. It sounds like something you get for driving under the influence, doesn't it? It does, but it's very common and it's all around us all the time. Mm -hmm. So an RWI is what? It's a recreational water infection. Oh, recreational water infection. I wonder if that would happen water skiing too. The, the high temperature allows for more easy bacterial growth, correct? Yeah, it can grow, it can incubate. Yes, exactly. and I understand that the high temperature also allows the chlorine to evaporate yep, chlorine more quickly. evaporates at higher temperatures more quickly, so um, in the end of the day, you may think it's chlorinated, but the levels may be way down. Mm. And oh, that that's interesting. can um, lead to an RWI. So what can the host do to make that uh, less possible? Well, the host can do a couple things. It, they can have um, adequate maintenance and um, chlorination in their hot tub. They can let people know the ins and outs of cleanliness before you enter the hot tub. Mm -hmm. what you should and, and should not be uh, mm -hmm. doing. So some rules for, Definitely. again, for using the hot tub. Well, I know that you take very, very good care of this one here. You check it quite often, right? We do. We do twice a day. We do maintenance and we do all sorts of testing, water, chlorination, and pH. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a something that uh, a hot tub owner should certainly stay on top of. Definitely. A lot of people yeah. just kind of Put it out there and let it go. Right? Yes. Be checked. Right. All right. Well, uh, anything else to tell us about hot tubs and, and uh, their use? Well, um, I think bottom line is you should just know the rules and have fun. I think that's a, a good watchword. Have fun, but know the rules. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of the Maxwell Moment. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And. Uh, Goodbye from beautiful Provincetown in the Carpe Diem Spa. We loved every minute, each wonderful minute.